right so good evening guys so in the previous class we discussed a program to update all the values with the highest value in the dictionary guys okay right so actually guys uh, uh, today uh, one of our student uh, faced an interview and uh, they asked a question guys about the list uh, they asked some questions okay we will see the one question out of those uh right a list is there a list is there in the list uh, some elements are there like this there are some elements uh, out of all some are duplicate uh, like suppose two is there or uh, some more suppose some three is there some four is there right all of you so in this case what are the duplicates in this case two is the duplicate two times is there Three is two times is there. Four is two times is there, right? And unique are what here? Unique unique elements are one comma one comma five are the unique elements, guys. <clears throat> unique elements. Okay. So two how many times is there? Two times is there. Three two times is there. Four also two times is there. Not only two can take a number of times also no problem. Let's take for example uh, four uh, three times is there, guys. Okay. Right. Now the question is, now the question is, whatever having the duplicates, whatever having the duplicates, those elements we have to remove, right? Means head two has the count more than one, right? Means duplicate means what is the meaning? The count is more than one. Suppose count of two is a two is there. Count of three also two. Count of four also, four also, Three is there here means means we want to remove the two, three, four. So the final output should be one comma five. One comma five means so two we don't want because two is the duplicate. Three also duplicate. Four also duplicate. Right? Four also duplicate. So you want to remove the two, three, four guys. You want to remove two, three, four because count count is important here. Of right, suppose observe now that's the same one, guys. List dot uh, count of, for example, count of one, guys. What is the count here? Count of how much, guys, here is the one, right? The same one, uh, list dot uh, count of two, how much? Count of two, how much, guys, here? Count of two means how many times two is there? Two times two is there. List dot uh, count of three in this example, generally, I'm saying. How many times three is there? Two times three is there. For example, list data count of four, count of how many times four is there? Uh, three times four is there, right? Next up, list data count of five, how many times five is there? Only one time five is there, right? Means now what I want here, wherever the count is one, wherever the count is one, that numbers we have to keep. That numbers we have to keep, guys. Means uh, wherever the count is one, for one count is one, for a five also count is one, right? Wherever the count is one, those things we have to uh, keep the remaining, like uh, this two, where count is two, this three, where count is two, it is four, where count is three, these things we have to delete, uh, or we don't need to, uh, we don't need those elements, guys, right? I love you. So here uh, we have the five uh, five unique elements I have taken the five counts, right? Five counts. So this value I'll take one by one, guys. I just uh, use a uh, for loop here, okay? I make it uh, dynamic uh, short coding. All of you observe, guys, here. All of you observe now. Right, let's go now. So first I'm going to get for i in uh, LST, for i in LST. Now what is the i? i is the one first time. Now that one, I'm going to count. First time, what is I value? I value is the one, first time, right? Uh, that one, I'm going to count in the LST. What is the count? Is it one or more or one or not, right? That's why if LST dot count of what? Count of I equal to one, all of right? If count of I, what's first time I value? First time, what's I value here? First time I value one, right? One. So count of one, right? Count of one uh, equal to one. Then that uh, 
If it's a one, that I value I want take, right? Just take the that I value, guys. Okay. Next time, what's I value? Two is coming, right? Next time, two is coming. Now, in the LST, count of two. Count of two. I is the two, right? Count of two. How many times uh, twos are there? It's not one time, right? More than uh, maybe two times, three times, four times. Uh, so that two, we don't take it. Right? Next time, again, the same. Two over, right? Next, take the three. So if I value three, right? Uh, now, count of three is equal to one? No. Count of three, how much here? It is the two. So don't take it. Next time, uh, suppose four is coming, right? I value four. Now, if count of four equal to one, then take it. But count of four is not one. Is count of four is three, right? So it doesn't take. Next, uh, suppose five is coming. I value five, right? If uh, count of five equal to one, uh, then take it, right? How many times five is the only one time is there that will come like that? It will check for all the elements, guys. Under it's going here. I just take the print here. I just take the print of right. You can see here we're fetching the only unique elements, guys. Uh, we're not getting the values which are having the duplicates also. All of right. We're getting the which one now? Uh, only the values which are available only one time. One is available one time, five also available one time only, guys, right? This is the, one of the questions uh, of student face day interview, right? Yes, we have one more question also on the same list uh, that we see in the next session, guys. Thank you all of this, bye.